Welcome to Midget Trucking. What's good, y'all? Um, I'm basically here explaining what's going on, um, showing you the hiring process of USA Truck. Giving y'all the full detail, the full rundown. First of all, you do your application if, if for the lease purchase or whatever. Um, after that, they call you. Michael Strickland, good dude, take care of his people. They call you. Um, once they run your DOT, your, your DAC reports, your background check, then they give you a list of companies that you can get a truck from. Because they're not like a regular lease company. You know how like some of y'all have the lease companies that basically just, you they already got their trucks in their lot. So you're you just go on with them and they already have their trucks on in in the company so you just got to go on with them and just get a truck with them with their name on it but the difference between them and usa trucking usa trucking have like eight um truck companies that you can go with they do some of them do run your credit um and you do have to put a down payment down with usa truck as well some be 500 might be 1500 it might be nothing depending on depending on if USA Truck wants to front you the money from your sign on bonus that you get and if the, if they front you your money from your sign on bonus you don't have to put nothing down but you still will have to have a credit check um and everything like that you still will have to actually do that kind of stuff and y'all yeah my shirt off but I don't give a damn cuz listen it's early in the morning and I'm bored, so I might as well talk about this and give y'all a good game on all this good shit. But anyways, um, okay, they do all that. You 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 fill out your credit application with the trucking company that you want to go with. They run your credit score. I went with Tail. And you run your, your credit score or whatever. Then they'll give you a call, ask you what truck you're looking for, and so on. Once you do that... After you do that, um, and they and USA Trip truck approves you, um, you just waiting for your your truck to get there. And like I say, I went with Tail. They have pro, um, priority leasing, progressive leasing, Bush. They they have Lone Mountain. It depends on where you went. I went with Tail, so I could I could just only tell you the Tail experience. And basically, you know, after you do that. The rundown after you do that, they'll wherever you at. If you in over the world, if you in, you know, at the top of New York or whatever, they will actually rent you a rental car to go pick up your truck. And once everything's approved, now hold on, let me let me let me backtrack that right quick. Let me backtrack that right quick. Once they approve you and everything, you know they they um, DOT physical is very strict. Like very strict. So I suggest y'all have y'all long form, not the certificate that they give y'all, but y'all long form. You can go to the um, you can go get it for if you have your DOT it has to be six months. Your your medical card has to be good six months or more. If it's under six months, you have to take another DOT. They won't accept it. But if you have your long form and it's over six months, you can give your recruiter the you can give your recruiter the long form. And once you give them the long form, they'll send it over and see if it's approved. So when you get to orientation to and bring your truck to orientation, you won't even have to do a physical because they will fail you on that physical if you they do sugar levels and everything on that physical. So if your blood pressure good, your eyesight good, but your sugar ain't good, you've been drinking coffee that morning, they're not gonna fail you. So they're not gonna pass you. So it's best for you to actually get the um long form make sure you get the long form with all the papers and send it to them so they can approve it so you won't have to do a physical when you get down here and be upset because they didn't they did a strict physical dot and you didn't pass and you now you can't get on you can't get your truck on with the company you got a whole new truck and so i did that got approved um after all that got approved for the truck i went with tail like i said i could only do tail experience because that's who i'm through um tell they ask you what kind of truck you want they got 2020s they only got new trucks and it is a lease it is a lease i'm put it out there it's a lease 
is four years on a brand new truck. You're paying around six forty six to six fifty six a week. Um, they give you like a three week um a three week yeah they give you like a three week um basically a three week um grace period to um you know when your first payment it comes out with USA Trucking. So basically you get that, um, they get, you sign all the documents, they send all the documents through email, via email, they tell you how many miles on the truck, which location to pick the truck up at, and that depends. Um, with USA Truck, they changed it. Now that all the lease purchase people, they come to West Memphis, Arkansas. They will provide you with a hotel from Sunday through Wednesday. Orientation is Monday through Wednesday. They will provide you with a hotel from Sunday to wednesday but if you out of town like i was from houston and i had to go to ohio to pick up my truck and then drive back to arkansas and i made i made it back friday and i left the house wednesday and i made it back to arkansas with the truck um friday i paid for my hotel for friday and but i also um you know they get they gave me a free day they let me um come in saturday sunday monday tuesday and wednesday and basically you just bring your truck and you wait for orientation and you go to orientation and that's the first steps of getting over to usa trucking before orientation and i just wanted to give you all that rundown and i'm gonna tell you the key factors the key factors get your long form i can't stress this stress that don't come down here with no dot card and even if it's brand new and you got a certificate. But if you don't got that long form, you will have to take another DOT physical. And their DOT physicals are strict. Strict. And I'm going to just keep it real. I'm going to tell y'all the real. From day in to day out, I'm going to keep on posting. And I'm going to tell y'all the real. And, you know, they put you in a hotel. And West Smith is called the Ramada Inn. Um... This is where I'm at right now. I don't, it ain't too fancy, but it ain't too bad. You know, hey, it's free. And you just waiting to um, make money. And another thing with USA Trucking, it is load boards. It is load boards. That's what I'm on. Um, it's 65% line haul, 100% fuel surcharge. If the load you want to pick is 2500 and the fuel surcharge is 400 you get that whole 400 to yourself. It's up to you if you want to put that whole 400 in your truck for that trip that you're taking. Or you can find a good gas prices. If you go into their network, you get a 15 cents discount on the price. So if it's 230, it'll be 215 if you go to their network. And what else? I, what else did I leave out? And this is before going to orientation. I'm just giving y'all the steps. If y'all want to apply, this is the steps to take. Oh, 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 I almost missed one. You have to have at least six months over the road experience within the last three years. Six months over the road experience in the last three years. So if it's been paid five years and you've been local for three years, you're going to have to go back over the road for six months in order to like be in a lease purchase to run a load board and stuff like that you're gonna have to actually go out six months you can't if you if you if you have been on the road for two months you can't do it you got to be six months or more or six months within the last three years so that's very important that's very important and i'm just putting that out there and i'm letting y'all know if y'all have any questions about the first part because i'm gonna be uploading every day uploading the shit every day every day that it goes by telling y'all what's what is good how it is give me y'all updates just letting y'all know from my journey and if y'all have any questions comment below this is midget trucking